Hello, today's video we have the following content. Hello, today's video we have the following content. Ziozan angrily yelled at the airport in the early morning, do you understand what I'm saying? Go forward, what are you doing? Is there order? Today, Ziozan airport shouted loudly to maintain order was the number one hot search topic. According to Sina Entertainment, in the early hours of this morning, Ziozan appeared at the airport for the fashion week and was surrounded by many people following him. Ziozan angrily shouted, do you understand what I'm saying? Go forward, what are you doing? Is there order? Netizens have criticized the behavior of proxy photographers, respect yourself and others, and refuse to proxy photographers. The frown and the smile are a small compliment, it's the first time I heard Ziozan speak so loudly, but Ziozan's schedule is really busy. Before departure, he made it clear that he would go VIP and not pick up the plane, for fear of disturbing others. Clay figures all have a certain amount of anger, so think about it for a moment. Respect yourself and others, and refuse to be photographed on behalf of others! Exclamation mark. Give artists some space, please! Chen Ziyakuin, we sat out in the middle of the night, and we called in advance, but we didn't respect him and were still so crowded. He just wanted to have good order. I really hate these people. Dalek, why can't we take photos from a distance? Line up, it should be a better photo. Be a little transparent Jing Ziyajing, can there be no market for those proxy photos? Exclamation mark. If there is no buying and selling, there is no harm. Who is looking at those pictures? Obsidian Sen, I suggest that the airport blacklist all these proxies who are legitimate career star chasers, so as to disrupt the order of the airport and cause trouble to others. The TV series The Legend of Tibetan Sea Star and Ziozan and Zhang Jingai is currently being filmed. Some time ago, the crew of The Legend of the Hidden Sea encountered a proxy agent who leaked undisclosed information. The actor's makeup and some plot information were all disseminated in the form of pictures or videos. On January 24, the official Weibo issued a statement, We will resolutely resist malicious infringements such as proxy photography, secret photography, Reuters, and leakage of confidential information. On February 20th, Ziozan Studio issued a proposal stating that it does not approve or accept any containment or follow-up behavior that affects public order in the working environment. The initiative stated, oppose any form of Reuters. Friends who support and respect actors, please do not do things like squatting on and off work, blocking entrances and exits, following filming, etc. We hope that during the filming period, we will give the participating actors maintain a good and healthy working space with the crew. We also hope that everyone will not discuss or spread the so-called crew announcements, filming locations and other information released through any channels. Effectively reduce meaningless attention and eliminate behaviors that interfere with the normal work of the crew. Later, Ziozan also reposted, Please stop squatting. I wear the same clothes to and from get off work every day. I don't need to waste time watching and affecting public order. Respect others and respect yourself. Some netizens posted on Weibo saying that Ziozan has been wearing a down jacket every day since the filming of The Legend of Tibetan Sea began, without changing his clothes and he used his actions to boycott the proxy filming. Many public figures have angrily criticized proxy photographers at the airport. Proxy photographers mostly refer to photographers on behalf of fans. They specialize in taking high-definition photos on occasions where celebrities appear and then sell them to fans or some companies. They are also called professional proxy photographers in the fan circle. Gradually, proxy bidding became a money-making activity for scalpers. In January this year, Wang Junkei angrily criticized a proxy photographer at the airport, sparking heated discussions. At that time, Wang Junkei chose a flight at nearly 3 o'clock in the morning, staggering the peak traffic period at the airport. But the scene was still chaotic. Wang Junkei angrily said, You proxies, can you take your responsibility? Do you have any sense of public morality? In October 2023, national table tennis player Wang Chukin was followed and photographed at a close distance at the airport. He bluntly said, If you photograph me again, I will call the police. Can you stay away from me? You have nothing to do if you are sick. Later, I commissioned at Hope's Hydrogen Balloon Workshop to publish a post, hoping to boycott proxy shooting and long-term follow-up shooting. Previously, at People's Daily Online commented on the official Weibo post, after agency photography became popular, an industry chain gradually formed. There are scalpers who provide celebrity itinerary information, buyers who have pictures, and platforms for dissemination. 
However, this industry chain has always been obscured with shades of grey. Therefore, celebrities also cannot express their hardships when it comes to proxy shooting. No matter what, proxy shooting must pay attention to legal boundaries and moral bottom lines. Holding a camera and mobile phone does not mean that you naturally have the right to take pictures, nor does it mean that others have to give in to your influence. To reduce the chaos of proxy shooting, we must start from the root cause. Chasing stars rationally, don't let fans pay for idle behavior.